David, producer at Border to Border Entertainment. And Warm Envy is a scripted comedy series that is about a gay party boy who in his 30s is reunited with his best friend from high school who shows up on his porch pregnant and begging him to be the baby daddy. Womb Envy is the brainchild of Champagne, who is a Toronto-based drag queen who we had worked with previously on our documentary series, Drag Heels. And the screenwriter who came on board is Mark Keller, who has a fantastic comedic voice. And so we really felt that we were, you know, in, in uh, very good hands with them leading the way uh, for, for the writing of the series. Womb Envy, in the context of this show, is, is really about like the desire to, to understand and feel what pregnancy is like. And one surprising niche, and it was a really deep niche that we found, was something called Mpreg. And, you know, there, there is an audience of all genders who really are excited about the idea of, of male pregnancy. It's in fan fiction, it's in uh, novels, it's, you know, been in some other uh, series and films and stuff. And that's what Womb Envy is really exploring the idea of our our lead character who is a gay man becoming emotionally pregnant <laughs> um, in empathy with his straight best friend and this is actually a scientific phenomenon that that really does happen to male-bodied people in that a man can start to have the emotional and physiological aspects of pregnancy in kind of an empathetic support care driven <laughs> desire to be there for for their partner and that was something that was just like really wild for us to hear it's called kuvad syndrome and when we learned that it was actually rooted in some science and that there was this huge fan base for this type of content that's where we started to put the pieces together and go oh there's something special here and let's dive in and play my company, Border to Border Entertainment, is all about creating content for and with underserved communities and the underrepresented in, in media. So when I was growing up in small town Saskatchewan in the 80s and as a, a queer person, there was, you know, really far and few between references in media that I could point to and say, oh, that person's like me. And, you know, that feels like that's reflecting my experience right now. That's thankfully all really changing, but we've worked really hard over the past decade to tell these stories and find homes for these stories. You know, what we're creating doesn't always fit into the mainstream kind of wish lists of, of broadcasters and digital platforms. We're creating something that's really, you know, historically has been on the fringe and is finding its way towards center. But the Bell Fund provides means both in the production phase, development phase, as well as in the marketing to really take shows like we create and make sure that they get made and can find an audience.